Spencer Dees was having breakfast in his Tyson's apartment when an orchestra of police sirens drew him and his iPhone to the balcony. And that's when I started recording. I was like, this is crazy. I've never seen a hot pursuit before. Dees' video showing what happened next. And that's when uh, the police uh, did their pit maneuver. Um, and in the video, you can see this, the car just absolutely hit the wall, flip, and then slide on its uh, roof for quite a distance. The high-speed chase started in Maryland when police responded to reports of a 26-year-old man with a gun firing at a vehicle in this Germantown neighborhood. Listen as a Montgomery County police officer calmly radios in. She spotted the suspect's car at an intersection and was being shot at, all with a citizen ride-along in her back seat. We have any contact with the vehicle. I'm at 118 and 355. I I have a blue one so that I get the light here. Trying to get a license plate from the call taker, but haven't gotten it yet. Yeah, it's 33. I was just shot at. The blue. On the Civic. 18, right on with me. Montgomery County Police Chief Marcus Jones tweeting out photos of what he says were the high powered weapons found in possession of the suspect, adding he was grateful his officer wasn't injured. The chase ensued from I-495 in Maryland, then into Virginia, where Virginia State Police joined the pursuit, eventually ending up on Route 7 in Tyson's, where that cell phone video taken by the witness shows police executing what they call, quote, a pursuit intervention technique by making contact with the suspect vehicle, and that ended the chase. Route 7 was shut down for hours as police collected evidence. Police tell us the suspect was taken into custody right here at the scene without any further incident, and then was transported to a local hospital where they were treated for minor injuries. No one else was injured in this chase. In Tyson's, Eric Flack, WUSA 9.